Did you know that stormwater runoff affects each and every one of us? What is stormwater runoff? Stormwater runoff occurs when precipitation from rain or snowmelt flows over the ground into streams, rivers, ponds, lakes, and oceans. It is part of the natural water cycle. Stormwater runoff is one of the processes of the natural water cycle. The other processes are evaporation, when water is heated by the sun, changes in a vapor, and goes into the atmosphere. Condensation, when the water in the atmosphere is cooled and forms clouds. Precipitation, when water from clouds are released in the form of rain or snow. Infiltration, when rain and snow melt soaks into the ground. Transpiration, when water moves through plants and evaporates back into the atmosphere. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, about 71% of the Earth's surface is water-covered, and the oceans hold about 96.5% of all Earth's water. Only 2.5% of Earth's water is fresh water. A little more than 1.2% of all fresh water is surface water, which serves most of life's needs. Most of this water is locked up in ice, and another 20.9% is found in lakes. Rivers make up 0.49% of surface fresh water. Although rivers account for only a small amount of fresh water, this is where humans get a large portion of their water from. Pervious surfaces, like grass and other porous surfaces, allow most of the water to soak into the ground, which helps to naturally filter it. Impervious surfaces, like driveways, sidewalks, and streets, prevent stormwater runoff from naturally soaking into the ground. Why is stormwater runoff a problem? The Environmental Protection Agency reported that stormwater runoff is one of the leading sources of pollutants causing water quality impairments. There are many ways that stormwater runoff can become polluted. Sediment from roadway runoff, vehicles, soil erosion, construction projects, and other sources can cloud the water, which makes it difficult for aquatic plants to grow. Sediment can also destroy aquatic habitats. Oil and grease from sources like leaking engines, streets, highways, and parking lots, and illegal dumping can negatively impact aquatic life and clog drainage facilities. Heavy metals like rust, tire wear, fluids, and exhaust from automobiles and equipment are toxic to aquatic life and is a potential contamination to drinking water supplies. Hazardous household waste like cleaners, automotive products, pesticides, and paints can poison aquatic life. People and land animals can become sick from eating diseased fish or ingesting polluted water. Dissolved oxygen is used when organic debris like leaves, animal waste, and litter decays, which can kill fish and can also limit recreational use of water. Nutrients from fertilizer and pesticides, plant debris, garbage, and animal waste can create excess nutrients, which can cause algae blooms. When algae die, they decompose in a process that removes oxygen from the water. Fish and other aquatic organisms can't exist in water with low dissolved oxygen levels. Bacteria and viruses from organic material, sanitary sewer overflows and leaks, and animal waste can wash into swimming areas and create health hazards, which can result in closing beaches and lakes. Litter, like plastic bags, six-pack rings, and bottles that enter into water bodies can choke, suffocate, or disable aquatic life like ducks, fish, turtles, and birds. So what can we do to prevent stormwater pollution? Pet waste can be a major source of bacteria and excessive nutrients in local waters. Remember to pick up pet waste and dispose of it properly. Use pesticides and fertilizers sparingly. Use organic mulch or safer pest control methods. Rake leaves and compost or mulch yard waste. Don't leave it in the street or sweep it into storm drains. Don't pour household hazardous waste onto the ground or into storm drains. Contact your local environmental, health, or solid waste agency for information about how to properly dispose of these substances. Use a commercial car wash or wash your car on your yard so the water infiltrates into the ground. Repair leaks and dispose of used auto fluids and batteries at designated drop-off locations. Join organizations to help clean up litter and debris in your community. Your organization or business can also help by joining the Adopt a Highway or sponsor a highway programs. The bottom line is every drop of water is precious and it is up to us to keep it clean, Nevada.